Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a three-time best-selling author whose books uh, line the shelves of Barack Obama and Oprah. But mm. as a man of many talents, he refuses to be confined into a box. Please welcome anytime Bariola the second. Yes. How are you? Very well. Hello, sir. Welcome back to the yes. circle. Thank you so, so much. So we do have one thing in common. We both graced the heels of uh, Fam, you. Yes, the rather. highest of seven hills. But you know, you majored in computer science. Yes. A computer, computer information systems. CIS. Yes. 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 Which you wrote books. And Crazy. How you doing that? Like, how do you even? How did you even go from there to what you're doing now? God, one word, right? Yes. Like, all right we, all, now. we all have paths that we have in our minds, and then suddenly there's an opportunity wow. to pivot, uh -huh. or there's something that's presented to you that kind of falls out the sky. So it was my duty to. Take advantage of that, right? To yes. jump out the window and, and take that task on. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And you've done it so well. That's Thank you. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we know you're a married man. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yes. Yes. May I please apologize to my wife? Where's the camera? Is it this one? Yes. Yes. Right there. I, I, had, you I had an attitude all week. I love you. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I love you. Hey, no. I love you. Get I'm apologizing on air. I'm sorry. Yo, I love it her. Was a, it was a setup the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, was, no, no, I, was, I, was, I didn't apologize. What's Don't up, baby? Don't <laughs> <That's all right>. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys been married? Six years. Six awesome. months. We've been together about 10-ish or something like that, maybe oh, yes. 11 or 12. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, a little birdie told me there's a baby in the oven. Oh. Ooh. Is it true? Is it it's true? A baby, it's a baby girl in the oh. oven. Yay. Look at my baby doing a little dance. So we have a three-year-old son and we have a baby doing. Oh, the baby's so cute. Yes. Congratulations. Aww. You gotta help me pick out a name too. I'm stuck. I can't think of a name. So I need like a Trina. 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 Yes. Well, let me ask you another question. Yes. Do you think there is a disconnect between black men and women? Oh, absolutely. Why is that? You can see it, right? I mean, there's several reasons, right? I think ultimately, we are trying to build. We are trying to rebuild. And we're doing it in a way that it's individualistic, right? Mm. We are, black women are just career driven, like you all are soaring. Every time I go behind the scenes and in front of the scenes of anything, I see black women yeah. carrying the load as you always have. And we're kind of sitting back and watching you heal, go on these retreats, go to these summits. And we're not doing the work because we don't have access, right? It's a new thing to be vulnerable. It's a new thing to go to therapy, right? In mm -hmm. our culture. Mm -hmm. so. I think we're separately trying to figure it out, but we really need to be doing this thing together, not just mm -hmm. in a relationship, platonic, I'm sorry, romantic way, but also in a platonic way, because mm -hmm. ultimately, communally, we need each other. Yes. Beyond like kissy, huggy, like we need each other for real. We always have. Mm -hmm. And we're our best, and we meaning America, society, the world, our best when we're together. Yes, mm. I believe that. I like that. Well, we talked about career-driven women. I mean, I myself am very busy, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> I just gotta tell you, child, sometimes I, get, I am very busy. I sometimes I don't get a lot of sleep, but that's okay. I sleep oh. when I die. I'll be fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, but no, I have Married to Medicine, Sister Circle, and then I'm an author of my cookbook, A Cooking Women's Squad. Mm -hmm. Why do you feel that it is so difficult for career-driven women to date? Mm. Because a lot of career-driven driven women are dating their careers, right? They place that a lot of times at the priority. So it might be God, and then it may be career. And that's kind of like the same system that America has, right? Mm. And, we t and that's why I'm actually apologizing to my wife, because I put <coughs> work before her for this week. And that's not how I roll. I try to truly honor my, my priorities, right? Mm -hmm. God, wife, mm -hmm. family, friends, and everything else under that. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think... Uh, we're just so a lot of a lot of women are so focused on their careers because they have to be right. right. They have an opportunity now. Society is providing them time and, and space to like to to climb the ladder and to be the, their best selves. And you all are being your best selves. Mm. But in the in in the in those moments, we're being neglected. And the greatest thing that a man wants, regardless of what he ever says, is that time, that attention. Okay. I got a question so, for you. Okay, go ahead. Is it okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, it's not on. It's not. It's no, not no, on. No, no, it's fine. Let's go we, on. We were ready. We were ready okay. for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You, you, they, <laughs> we put this. We put that time for that. Relationships are my. Thank you very much. Let's go off script. So, so, so here's the th here's the deal. You, you know, we're talking about women going out there. You know, being independent, self-sufficient, mm -hmm. being able to fend for herself. Right. Right. Um, do you feel that we have been placed in that environment and in, in that thought process because we could not lean to men 100%. to do those things for a, us? A thousand percent, right? And, and that's the thing, right? Like, 
we have problems. Mm -hmm. We have reconciliation that needs to occur. Mm -hmm. We need to like get together and figure this thing out. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep drifting. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna be the one to, to kind of like humble themselves and say, you know what, I need you. Mm -hmm. Forget what happened yesterday, where can we start now? That's how, that's how marriage works, right? That's how life works. You have to mm -hmm. focus on what the ultimate goal is and be willing to submit yourself to the current scenario mm -hmm. and to your goal. Like, what's the goal? The goal is for us to be together. The goal is for us to do better. The goal is for us to rise together. How do we get there? We don't get there by relying on all, or, or even like dwelling on all of these past mistakes. We have to move forward. It's, so it's a just, tough pill to swallow, I, but it's, I just it, you got know what I'm saying? I, I got two sisters there, I'm just not gonna hog just, it up. Yeah, we got like yeah, literally not, not a whole lot of time. Okay. Um, you, you mentioned the word submit. Yes. You know, I believe in submission. Right. Uh, uh, in the biblical sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but what are your thoughts on submission when it comes to girlfriend, boyfriend, as opposed to uh, husband and wife? Girlfriend, boyfriend, that's something that I, it's hard to define, right? Because what is that, talking to? Are we committed? Are we not? Are we mm -hmm. seeing other people? I think submission in a boyfriend, girlfriend relationship is adhering to whatever rules are set within that those parameters and just honoring that right so if the woman or man says I like this or don't like this you just submit to that right mm -hmm. in a marriage it's really submitting to the leadership from a man or a woman mm -hmm. right and the man or the woman loving that their spouse right so submission is really rooted in a lot of people are afraid of the S word yeah but it's it's rooted in how how great you are right it's selecting a partner why would you select somebody that you wouldn't want to submit to mm. and submission is not giving up your full will and right it's like yo this person makes me better i'm willing to give up my own disposition or my own the, the things that i desire my own desires for this scenario for the both of us mm. it's not about interesting thoughts. tucking yourself in yeah. okay well, well okay. before you leave really quickly do we, we have touch? more time no we don't no, we don't we don't let's okay. talk, let's yeah, talk yeah, keep going inside yeah. for right now quaddy wadi so <laughs> talk to us about your new partnership <laughs> with usher it's called uh the new look foundation and let's talk about your co-ed retreat that you have okay so the new look foundation we did an event exhibit gray for the third book the tour um, it was cool. We got a bunch of kids together at a big mansion here in Atlanta, and uh, we just rocked out. You know, we had a good time, mm. art, music, oh, and the, awesome. the four women, the retreat. So we're having, like I said, we all need to get together in Granada, that's October it. 3rd through 7th. We're having a co-ed wellness Granada? luxury retreat. Yes. Uh, Christina Rice and I. Yes, what's up, Christina? And we're also doing a four women only tour. Me, Kenny Burns, Steve Canal. Come on, we got men. great guys. Yes, yes, we got yes. Great guys. Wow. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank Love you that. so much. Thank you so yes, much for having me. Interesting conversation. Yes. Yes. We're going to have to continue what, online. Where, where do you live? Yes. I live in Florida. <laughs> live in, yeah, we can. We can see how often you are going to be able to come back to see us. <laughs> no, no, I'll be, I, I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta a lot, so we can come back. Call us when you're on your way. Okay. <laughs> I'm in. To keep I'm up in. with everything anytime, please go to his website, <laughs> www.bareleska.com.